beloved. How are you? Hi. How you doing? I'm doing. I'm, okay. I'm doing well. Thank you. Nice to um, nice to speak with you. I'm looking for something to elevate this phone. Can you hear me good? Wait. Can you repeat that? I can't hear. I asked you. Can you hear me good? Um. Yeah, now I can. <laughs> okay. All right, great. So, um, have you ever received a spiritual reading before, a psychic medium reading? Should I explain a little bit? Um, wait, wait. Hold, hold on real quick. Let me get some personal documents more, please. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was going Hello? Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you perfectly fine. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, great. So, what I was asking was, um, have you ever received a reading before? No, okay. never. Okay, so this is your first time. All right, that's great. Now, let me explain yes. let me explain to you a little bit how I conduct sessions. Um and okay. then if you have any questions afterwards, then feel free to ask them. Um I am a psychic okay. I am I'm, I am a psychic medium and what I do is I um channel. And what channeling is is basically communicating with your spirit guides. And uh, are you familiar with spirit guides? Spirit guides. Spirit guides, like your spirit guides. Are you are you familiar with that or? Um, just a little bit, like. Briefly. Not really. Okay. Well, I yeah. o I always say that. Um, the way I explain spirit guides is this. I say, you know, when you're in high school and your guidance counselor guides you throughout high school. Uh huh. Okay. So your spirit guides are the spirits. Um, rather it's your angels, it's your ancestors, it's whoever, um, they yeah. guide you throughout life. So I will be and from birth to death. So I will be communicating with them and they will begin to give me messages about you that happened in the past, that's currently happening now, and that may happen in the near future. So that we can further assist you on your path, on your journey. I always tell my, are you clear on that? Yes. I always tell my clients, please feel free to ask any kind of questions you may have pertaining to spirituality or, or you know, if you want to ask your spirit guide some questions, feel free to ask and I'll deliver the messages for you. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, great. say that again. No, I said okay. That's that's great. Okay. <laughs> that's great. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Why? It's it's never um, it's 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 never it's never bad. Um, it's never bad thing. It's always good thing. Um, if you know anything about spirituality, I can, I can pick up that you're a bit nervous and that's fine because this is your first time. But guess what? As we are walking this path of life, everybody's consciousness is starting to shift. So a lot of people are getting into spirituality. A lot of people are getting into their own prayers. A lot of people are, are connecting with their spirit guides or rather connecting with their ancestors. But some people are, you know, less shy than others, but the main fact that you're getting this reading is it, it, it's it's more is 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 a sense of advancement, you know. Um, your spirit guides never tell me bad things. Well, they tell me bad things for good purposes to help you. Um, but in any event, it's 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 good to understand what's happening from a spiritual perspective of things. 
and especially especially coming from your spirit guys so again you know there's no it's no um it's no reason to actually be nervous of the messages that's coming because again our earth the earth planet earth is ascending and so are we so in order for us to ascend we need guidance some of us not all of us some of us we need guidance to get to where our goal is on a spiritual level because if you're not spiritually in tune with yourself honestly speaking yeah. if you are not spiritually in tune with your self then you have nothing then you are lost and you will get left behind yeah. are you familiar with uh erica badu when she said you know you better hurry up or your ass might get left behind talking about the mothership yeah. okay this is this is this is a prime example of when people receive readings they want to you know they want an advancement they want to know what's going on yeah. they want to know the steps that they should take they want to be aware you know of what the, and and sometimes too like your spirit guides are already telling me there's certain things that you should be doing you know sometimes people say well sometimes the questions comes comes about like hey you know what is my life life journey what is my purpose here on earth some yeah. people don't know their purpose so at times you know um more more good times out of bad times at times i'm able to tell people their exact purpose but most of okay. the time most of the time i tell my my clients which this is what i choose to do i tell my clients i say hey what is it that you desire to do you know cuz some people are all over the place with oh i want to do this i want to do that da, 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 but they can't get there they can't they can't even start you know so it's like okay you want to do all of these different things but you don't you 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 can't even start you can't even begin yeah you know so it's it's best to do what you can do now so that the bigger picture can can blow up in your face in a sense okay my love okay okay so the first thing that's coming up with you, the first thing that's coming up with you from them is saying, stop get second guessing yourself. They say, listen, tell her to the extent that she second guesses herself is to the extent that you're going to set yourself back. And again, my love, remember that I, as I told you before, your spirit guides is going to tell me things about you that happened in the past, present, and future, and, and that's going to happen in the future. So some of the things that I may say to you, you know, might have already happened. Or is happening right now. Just listen to these messages and just take from what you are more so familiar with, okay? My love? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the first okay. thing the first thing that's coming up with you, my love, like they said, second guessing yourself. Stop second guessing yourself. If you are into um meditation, the first thing that I want you to begin working on is the solar plex, your solar chakra. Are you familiar with the different chakras in your body? Chakras? Yes, yeah, chakras. Are you familiar with the different chakras? No. Okay, so the different chakras, all right. The different chakras, so I gotta take you through a tutorial, which is good too, because you're learning. Um yeah. The different the different chakra levels in your body are basically energy points, okay? Um, sort of like the endocrine system. Are you familiar with the endocrine system? The endo the en the endocrine system. You have the you have endo right. Endocrine. Yeah, the oh. endocrine system. You know, like the musculatory okay. system, the circulatory system, yeah. the digestive system. You have yeah. what is known as the endocrine system. And there's different points that align itself within the spinal cord. Now, sometimes you will see pictures of um, someone sitting in a meditation position where they have the color red. They have the color uh, uh, orange. They have the color yellow they have the color green blue purple and then the light that is around their head have you ever seen that picture 
Have you ever seen a picture, you know, rather on the internet or at a store, at a spiritual store where there's some a person, you know, sitting in like a meditate, meditative position, which is known as a lotus position, and they have these different colors lined up in one, and those are the colors. Have you ever seen that? Have you ever seen it? Right now, I can't remember if I have. Okay, do me a favor. Okay, can you go online? Can you go online while you're on the phone with me now? Can you Google it real quick? Um, yeah, hold on. Google chakras so we can, so you can understand and understand what's happening. Google it real quick so you don't be lost while I'm talking to you. Okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, you can do it on your phone. Can you do it on your phone? Um, I have an Android, so I can't do it while I'm on the phone. That's like only for iPhone. Okay, give me a second. I I believe I have um a chakra something chakra snapshot snapshot it and I can probably S H O K S H O C K E R C C C H C H K R A chakras C H A C H A like Apple K R a chakra. Okay, I see it. You, 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 chakra. Okay. Chakras. Now you can put an because X. Because since there's a spiritual power in the human body, you usually consider to be seven, to be seven in numbers. Okay, great. Now, do you see okay, the picture? I see it. Yeah. You see the picture? Yes. Have you ever okay. seen this picture before? Yes, I have. Thank you. All right. So I'm glad that I was. I'm glad that I you know, assisted you to see this picture so you can now have a visualization of what I'm speaking about. Now, you see the yellow chakra, correct? Do you see the yellow color? Yeah. Okay, the yellow color deals with the solar plexus. The yellow color, I always say that the solar plexus is your is your is your first mind. You know when someone or when, you know when you say I got a gut feeling, you feel it in your intuition, yeah. you feel it in your mind, you feel it in your soul. So what your spirit okay. guides and so what your spirit guides are saying in this situation is listen. Tell her to stop second guessing yourself because at times you tend to doubt in a sense or um have this and it could be a sense of fear you know because when your solar plex is out of line that means that there's some sort of fear and the opposite of fear is trust the opposite of fear is willing or willpower so at times what your spirit guide is saying moving forward stop second guessing yourself you can do anything and everything that you came here on this planet to do. So if you want to sing, go ahead and sing. If you want to take up dancing, go ahead and take up dancing. If you want to do any type of expression is what they're saying, any type of thing that will, any type of activities or any type of subject that that deals with expression that is what is best for you at this particular realm now what they're also telling me is that you in the near future are going to open up your own business so i'm not sure if you are thinking about it right now and it may be doing something with baking or cooking or um basically how to or and or and or even dealing with children so rather mentoring tutoring um even or rather getting up with peers young young girls what is it that you do now um right now i'm actually like in school studying to get my um security license but i did i was thinking about opening my own business but yes. i was I like going towards more like opening like a nightclub because i love promoting Mhm. Mhm. And it's and interacting with people. Right. So that's basically what was like in my mind. 
Well, interaction with people is some is is very key with you. That's what they're saying because I'm seeing the number one coming with you, and the number one they're saying is new beginning, being independent, being the leader, being the boss. You know, taking initiative. You're like a someone that has ambition and strive. But guess what? The energy the energy has to be there because to the extent that you are the to the extent that you hold this number one vibration and they have a lot of positive attributes to it, they also have a lot of negative attributes to it, meaning laziness, meaning second doubt in yourself, delays, you know, not you know, not going after what you want. So in the near future, my love, if you even want to do the nightclub, if that's what you're saying, doing a nightclub or rather promotion or rather um, interacting with people, that is perfectly fine. But what the, what your spirit guides are saying more so with um, dealing with peers, um, people people you know that are um, rather younger than you or rather your age, where you're helping them to succeed or you're helping them, you know, like. Um, you know, like some like children or or people that came out of like abusive relationships or rather, yeah. um, you know, bad relationships or just not having a proper home or you know not having a mom or a dad or you know something like that in in that in that category. And again, as you expand yourself and as you walk your life, you will pinpoint your own um destination. But what they're saying is that's the direction that you should go to because you came back to do this you came back to help people you came back to heal you came back for you came back to bring people together is what they're saying togetherness unity what is your sign Capricorn. oh okay capricorn out opposite um, opposite cancer. So cancer deals with unity. Cancer deals with family. Cancer deals with the ancestral realm. So that's more so what I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on the more of the emotional side of you, which is the cancer side of you, but also too the number one, which is what um Jan January is what the um the uh the the first sign uh the first month. Are you a Jan uh, uh, uh January or December? January. Right. So that that go that's that's where the number one um come in at. So in any event and Capricorns are like that. They they're the goal getters. I say Capricorn are the ones that have strong discipline too. Cap Capricorns has a lot of discipline. Capricorns are up at five o'clock in the morning and they do what they need to do. Very disciplined people. And guess what? If you don't know, Capricorn is ruled by the planet um Saturn and Saturn is the is the planet that gives um task you know he's like the taskmaster he challenges he brings you you know it brings you more um strength and guidance so in any in any event when they said you res when they said you resonate with the number one now I understand why because you are a Capricorn which makes completely sense are you following me yes okay. So, um, in any event, my love, in any event, um, they're saying the number one, they're saying in the near future, opening up a business in terms of, or rather, it, it, it doesn't necessarily even have to be a business business, but have groups, you know, it can even be free groups, you know, it can even, oh, you, you, you can make it how you want to make it, you can make it a non-profit group, you can make it a small group, you can make it however it is that you wanted to make it, because again, you are the creator, you are the character, and you are the director of your own movie, so, and then, and your movie is your life, and you choose the characters that's in, you know, choose the character that plays in your life, so in any event, my love, um, I definitely have a good feel for you organizing, and again, they they go the the organizing word as a as a Capricorn. You guys like to organize. You guys you guys like to put things into place. So organizing a group or organizing a small profit business where you help people get together or you help you know um people get out of their misery 
in a sense. And I'm also saying that from time to time, buy yourself flowers um, to bring about positive energy, um, to bring about positive positive energy in your home or rather just positive energy throughout life I want you to pick up what they're showing me give me a second they're showing me white roses white and yellow roses as a matter of fact so keep your keep some white roses keep some yellow roses with you from time to time just for pot you know for positivity in your place um are you into yeah. are you into spirituality like that like that or what what is your what is your status? Um, I am actually great. Like, I just like at one point in life, I was asking like myself, like, what is my purpose? Mm. What is the point of life and living? Like, I, I like, I couldn't believe that we are just supposed to live and then go to school for twelve years and then go to college for four or five years and still become a, a doctor or something and then. We become a doctor, then what? Like exactly, you know, and then you know, like there's gotta be like I just felt like there was always more to life than just that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then then come back, and then after we retire, we feel like retirement, and then and then what? We just die at a nursing home or in our home or something like that's it. That's life. <laughs> like. <you know. laughs> And that's what I'm saying, and, and, and it's a beautiful thing that you, at this particular time, um, you know, I'm feeling like you're a little bit more younger than me, so um, at your age, I don't know if you're in your young younger 20s, which I'm picking up, um, but at your age, I did not have that mindset that you have now. I was still trying to figure out myself while entertaining other people so in any event the main fact that your mindset you your mental is the way it is now you have a head start on a lot so i'm saying this to say that you will not be those people that are going to go to school and just make nothing out of your life um you will begin to be have have an awakening which you already have um and now that you're getting this this read in this session which is also recorded by the way um and i'll send it to you whenever i i'm able to edit it and stuff but um now that you're getting this session um it gives you a more of guidance is what your spirit guy is saying it gives you more of guidance to help you figure out okay in the next four years this is what i want to do in the next three years this is what i want to do so this this spirit guide or this um read in itself they're saying is plant the seed reading is what they're saying so planting the seeds expanding the mind expanding your consciousness going internally healing your solar plex chakra get it and you and let me tell you something you have to do the work you know it's not just receiving these messages and not doing what your spirit guides or what you know we are telling you to do you have to do the work you have to you know get into your zone into your meditative zone into your you know your spiritual zone from time to time i'm not saying every day because sometimes people can't do it can't dedicate um spiritual acts every day but every other day or rather three times out the week at least Three times out the week, for starters, this is what I recommend. You see, meditate, go internally, healing chakra elevation, as you now are aware of the chakras in your body, which will help you to get closer to the godhood inside of you. What is your actual date? What's my actual what? Date. Birth date. Date. My birthday? Oh, um, January 2nd. Oh, so you're the number two. Yeah, so number two divided by one is one. That's why they're, they're telling me about the number one. Yeah, and number two can also be number 11 because one plus one is what? Two. And the number 11, oh, yeah. and, the, and the number 11 is one of the master numbers. So you or like I say, you already have a head start in terms of mastery, in terms of the mind, in terms of elevation. You just have to take action. It's is is the the first thing the first thing to higher consciousness or the first thing to anything is what? The thought. Right? When you get the thought, yeah. you take action. When you have action, you have results. 
and that your yeah. and and that is what shapes what your reality. So being in transition and the, and the, many things that well not many but some of the things for now they're speaking to me about flowers. Now in in this situation, it may also be because you are a earth sign. Flower d- depicts earth, the earth energy. Um, and I always, and I love flowers myself. Sometimes I buy I buy myself flowers just because, just to make me feel good. Yeah. Just so the energy, my energy can be. I, say that again. I like flowers too. <laughs> well, that's the reason why your spirit guides is telling me to tell you to buy flowers. You see, you yeah. see how everything is 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 going in synchronicity and falling in line. You understand now. It's nothing yeah. to be. It's nothing hocus pocus about this now. It's just guidance. It's just spiritual guidance from the spirit guides, from spirits that you're not able to see. Had had everyone known how to tap into their spirit guides, then I probably wouldn't be in business. But because people are not able to tap into the other side, um, or whatnot then that's why they come to me. Do you have any questions, my love? Um, no, not yet. <laughs> not as yet? No. <laughs> any, nothing? You, you, because, it, because it's your new, it's, 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 it's your first time, right? You, you, you wasn't aware of it, right? It's okay. It's, it's um, mighty fine. It's it's mighty fine. Just as long as you are satisfied with what I've already said to you and you receive the messages well and clear, I have done my job. If you I don't you know if you have no if you don't have any questions, I don't force my clients to ask. I just give them the platform to now ask questions so that they can get the best out of this session as possible. You understand? Um yeah. So, um, I kind of, I kind of do like, cause when I was younger, um, I had a um, abortion. Mhm. And and um and um um. Can you speak up, please? Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Um. Mhm. And, um, you know, my friend, the one that referred me to you, she was um, telling me that I should speak to my child because that's like an, a spirit that never kind of leaves my side. Mm-hmm. So I was wondering if you, can, if you can, like, if you're able to pick that up. Like, Yeah, the, the, the spirit that came, the spirit that came or the spirit that was inside of you has no grudges. Um, and that's why I did not mention it in a way because it didn't really fully come through. That wasn't the messages that came through. But because you're asking about it, we are more than willing to help you overstand. And when I say we, I'm speaking about me and your spirit guides. We are more than willing to help you overstand exa- or to rather give you closure. Um, there's no love laws. You was not ready at that particular time to be a mother, so those actions took place, and I'm speaking to you very clearly, and the spirit that, or rather the baby, the child that was in you, overstood it, or understood it, or yeah, understood it, so there's no um, attachments, um, the the child will always be, in a sense, um, relevant to you, but that soul has traveled safely into the ethers. Um, and it will perhaps reincarnate again into you. You never know. Um, I always say that, you know, and this is what I believe in truly and heartily, that we choose our parents, you know. So, hey, perhaps the child that you was going to bring forth on this planet was not satisfied with the father, and so, and so to give you a break, you know, so that you don't have to sacrifice yourself and you don't have to go to misery, the decision of what? Having an abortion came up. So in this situation, because again, my love, I channel people's baby that 
you know, that was rather aborted or miscarried. I, I, those, those babies come up, those souls come up. Um, but in your situation, it didn't come up because on the other side, everything has been cleared. Um, it's, it has been overstood or rather understood that you particularly wasn't ready to be a mother at that time and that soul has traveled safely okay the baby the the child has no regrets you know and but that's not to say that the child doesn't have this like you know this love or this 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 um you know I, I, this connection in a sense not to say that it's just to say that no love lost you know, it's like a friend. Yeah. You know, when you, you know, you and your friend, y'all go through certain a certain situation, and it's like, you know, you guys split, and it's like, you know what, it's no love lost. I love her, but I got to love her from a distance, and everyone is fine. Yeah. That's how it is. Like, I love this person. I love this, you know, this, this no, you know, don't feel regret. Don't feel no type of regret. And that, and that goes back to my love, the solar plex, um, you know, solar plex healing or solar plex chakra where is they speaking to to me about doubt and fear remember i told you that um that was the first thing yeah. that came up with you so again and and fear is like sadness and and then and, and what i said was fear is the opposite of willpower having willpower being creative in a sense so in any situation i definitely um would recommend releasing it you know releasing those thoughts of sadness in a sense um knowing that knowing that in the near future you know you you perhaps may 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 bring forth children but the right way that's the key the yeah. right way the one the one that you want to have children with you know being on a more being more on a healthier path you know being more on a holistic path giving the child more than what you would have gave the child if you would have had the child back in the day. That's just like me. I always say that. I say, oh, my God, how much I wanted to have a child at 20s and my young 20s and stuff like that. I was like, I, would, I didn't know nothing. I didn't know nothing. Now, if I have a child, I am more spiritually, mentally, and physically developed or rather there that I can provide this child with the best, you know, best that I can give them. Because that's basically what you want. But how can you give a child the best thing that you want if you yourself is undeveloped on a spiritual yeah. level? And health-wise, too. So let, you know, release that. Release those thoughts. Release it. Release it. Okay? You have other questions? Um, no. You sure? I, <laughs> how about, how about, like, are you able to pick up, like, anything about? I'm not hearing you. The, the, the background, the background is too loud, my love. I'm not, oh, give me. Not, uh, hold on. Okay. Hello? Yes, my love. Yeah, um, how about the men in my life? Mm -hmm. Like, give like, me. huh? Give, give, give me a second. You saying the men in your life or the man in your life? The There's man, a difference. The man in my life. Oh. <laughs> the man in my life. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, honestly speaking, you choose who you want to be with, okay? This is this is what's going on. You choose who you want to be with. Like I said to you before, you are the the director, the um, producer, and you are the one to choose the characters that plays a part in your life. If you choose this man to be in your life, it is because you have attracted him for some sort of reason. Rather, previously, you are looking to be in a divine relationship where now you have attracted this man 
that is looking for the same thing that you're looking for this is what they're saying to me this is what they're telling me to speak to you about okay so it's rather you previously from knowing him you desire to be in a loving or rather right in a rather loving or divine relationship and you chose him or rather you attracted him or you were in a situation where you felt sad or rather needy and you attracted somebody that will fulfill you in a sense so it's it's, it's two ways to look at the man in your life right now now my question to you is previously before meeting this man what was your situation um i was actually in a relationship okay all right so now that you were in a abusive relationship you came out of abusive relationship right so now you're like, you know, you want to be loved. You just want somebody that's right. You know, you want to be fulfilled. You want companionship, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what do you do? So you attracted that person into your life. You attracted this man into your life. Someone that is going to love you. Somebody that is going to fulfill you, you know, and somebody that is going to care for you other than what the other man did but let me tell you something my love this is another situation with you have you fully healed yourself from the past relationship have have you from the abuse Uh, I don't think so that see that's where the confusion that's where the confusion lies see now you are in a situation where yes you love you you care for this man but the trust is still there. Um, the trust issue is still there. And that's what I was telling you. What is, 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 is more so like a fear. Remember, like you're fearful. You're doubting. Oh, do, is he a right guy? Is he a good guy? Is he this? Is he that? That goes back to you in terms of healing yourself and releasing your past situations. Because that's just like Erica Badu say, bag lady. You cannot bring the old things that happen to you in one relationship into another that's not fair you have to re- first and and again i know you're in a relationship now so it's a little bit too late but try to get into that releasing the old so that you can accept the now you see um and you take it as you want it you you see things how you perceive things how it is don't perceive things how it's not if somebody is treating you lovely, you perceive it as he's treating me good. If this person is not treating you good, then guess what? You perceive it as not treating you good. Do not, I guess, bend or second guess, uh, well, you know, he's all right, he's this, he's... No, you know how you want to be treated. You know, you know how you want to be treated. And if somebody is not treating you, the way you want to be treated, then you're going against yourself. And it's going to be a reputation. And that's why I was telling you about Saturn, which is your planetary ruler. Saturn will continue to give you tasks and give you challenges. And if you do not conquer these challenges, you're going to repeat the lesson again. That's it. So how many times are you going to repeat lessons of love? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So then, so then, if you're t- you say you're tired of the what? I'm sorry. Of repeat of repeating it. So then that so then that's something that you have to look internally. You have to look within. You have to look within. It's not it's not because you are you are the one that is, that are attracting these people to you. You you do know about laws of attraction at least, right? Yeah. You see, the internal, your internal vibration is what the universe picks up on, my love. It's the internal vibration that the universe is take is is is, is attracting. So if you're if you are 
you know, having these feelings. And again, it's, it's, it, it, it begins with self. It begins with the man in the mirror. So if you are attracting these different people, then it is because there's something internally that hasn't been fixed. So to heal yourself, to heal yourself, and to spare you from the BS, heal yourself. Go within. Let go of the old so that you can accept the now. And when I and when you say, okay, well, how do you do that? Just release it. Just forgive. Forgive yourself, not because this other person deserved forgiveness, but forgive yourself for allowing this person to take advantage of you. Forgive yourself for allowing this person to talk to you anyway. Forgive yourself for allowing this person to, you know, just take over you as a as a soul as a beautiful soul for, forgive yourself and set yourself free set yourself free because enough is enough now yeah see my love so it's a it's an ongoing process it's a, so you can't you can't at this particular point my love this they, it w- I can't say what you can't do because you can do what you want to do, but on a bigger scale, on a spiritual scale, you shouldn't look at the person outside of you, but look at yourself in any situation. Love, family, you know, work, classmate, whoever, <laughs> whoever. Never look at the person that's outside of you, but you look at yourself and say, what ha- what what is going on with me that I attracted this per- this person in my life? What did it- what did I not heal within my chakras or within my vortex that I am attracting somebody that is needy, that you know that is overly possessive, that is you know rather a sucker for love? Ask yourself and be honest with yourself. Honesty is the best policy. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, my love. So, do you have another yeah. question? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you do. I'm pretty sure that's what you wanted to know, and it's all good. <laughs> it's all good, my love. So, again, you know, I thank you so much um, for being open to this opportunity, you know, Um, You want to thank the sister for opening the doors for you to receive um, this guidance, you know, these guidance and stuff. And I always tell my clients, my first-time clients, um, if you have other friends that are open to this, please feel free to recommend me, okay? And, yeah, and when I um, edit this copy and upload it, um, I will definitely send you a copy of this uh this session okay okay all right my love take care all right thank you okay bye-bye